never settle with the woman that cheats with you. Sean Game here coming at you with another episode from ChooseYourRelationships.com Offer of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. So I got a question from this dude. He said he's been uh, having an affair with this married woman for a couple years now. And she's in the process of getting a divorce. He wants to know, um, should he settle with her, um, get married to her? Uh, what are my thoughts on a relationship like this? Um, first off, I would never, just me personally, I mean, you do what you want to do. I'm not the moral police. And this has to, this has, this question has a lot to do with your morals. Personally, I would never, ever take a woman serious and settle down with her in a long term relationship if she's been cheating on her husband with me. I would never, ever do that. Even if I didn't know she was married, or even if I did know she was married, even or, I still would never, ever turn around, let her get a divorce, and I'll come around and marry, get married to her. Never do that. I always looked at it like this. It's... Relationships is is how you start is very important. So if the foundation of the relationship is built upon a lie from the jump, I mean, how are you going to transition into having a relationship with good intentions after you... The whole thing was predicated upon a lie from the get-go. And a, a lot of times, now some guys will say, hey, I would never do it because if she, if she cheated with him, if she cheated on her husband, she'd probably do it to me. Maybe. I, I've seen that happen as well. But um, a lot of times these situations come about these, this the whole sneaking around thing. The, the, the wife sneaking around when the husband comes about. Because a lot of guys fall for the okie doke. See, a lot of women... I felt, I've been a victim of this. I, I fell for the okie doke too when I was in my 20s. See, a lot of... See, if, if the average woman... Most women have figured out... If they come out and tell the guy they're married... Most guys are going to say... Uh, no, nah, nah, I'll pass. You know what I'm saying? You know? So, what most women will do is give you a sob story. She'll start telling you about how her husband ain't, he ain't doing this. He ain't doing that. He ain't doing this. He ain't doing that. that this is usually how it, it goes. You know? And a lot of times, you might be thinking that She's just whining and complaining. But no, it's really a pitch for you. <laughs> That's what it really is most of the time. You know what I'm saying? I've had this happen to me many times. It, it, it may, I had it happen to me in my 20s, 30s, and even still to this day. What they'll do is is start, compl talk, start talking about what their husbands or their boyfriends is, is is not doing and, and what they're doing and ain't doing and, and all this and that, right? And what they really want is really a pitch. They want you to, to take the bait, basically. You know, because I used to think that she's just whining and complaining just to be whining and complaining. But it's after... You know, this happened so many times, so this started to be a, a pattern 
amongst many women that I've met along the way since I've been living. So I said, so after a while I caught on. I said, oh, you know, I, I'm 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 basically supposed to just buy into what she's saying, but in most cases, most of the stuff that a woman says about her husband or her boyfriend, a lot of that stuff you can't really believe. You got to take that with a grain of salt because I've seen some women, <coughs> excuse me, I've seen some women put get guys into trouble. I've seen some women had two guys fighting against each other for, for her. Now, there's some women out here <clears throat> that actually like when two guys are fighting over them. They get off on that stuff. So I, I've seen guy, guys get caught up in what women are saying and they end up getting in a little scuffle. And sometimes even guys shooting and killing each other. So you got to really be careful. You got to really think for yourself. You know, because if things go left, she ain't going to take no responsibility for anything. It, 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 it's going to be on you and the other guy. And you don't even know this other guy. You don't know anything about him. Everything she said could be a lie. And you already know, most women that's willing to cheat with you, they're not going to be honest anyway about what's going on in most cases because if she was really honest she wouldn't give you a stop story she wouldn't really try to run no game like that on you she would just leave that guy and move on with the rest of her life but she didn't do that she came to you with a sob story trying to get you to um buy into what she's saying so she can justify why she's just sleep with another guy you know so you got to really use your brain and really think for yourself, you know. So, you know, it's, it's really a kind of a sticky situation that I would never, I would never settle down with a woman that's like that. I would never do it. It's kind of like, you kind of really playing with fire here. <laughs> really. Because you don't really know how much of what she's saying is true. And plus, check this out. If you do take the bait and sleep with the woman that lived with a guy or got a husband. Nine times out of ten. Probably weeks later or months later. You're going to find out that something that she said ain't true nine times out of ten this is happening to me because i fell for it too i found out later on that most of the stuff she said most of that stuff wasn't even true i found out that most of the stuff that she said she brought it upon herself and she was a part of the problem it wasn't necessarily the guy with the problem it was more of her than anything I found out that a lot of these guys are not so bad. The, a lot of the problem, a lot of these problems come from the women in, in situations like this, you know. So that's why I say it's really a, a sticky situation. And um, I would never settle with a woman that's that's like this. I mean, if you're gonna look, like I said, I'm not the moral police. If you want to sleep with that woman, married woman. A woman that lived with a guy, knock yourself out. But to s take that same woman and snatch her up and settle with her, no. You see, you you get basically you're gonna inherit a whole set of problems because if she's leaving him for you. What do you think you're going to get? I mean, look. Really, the relationship... First off, if, if you leave... 
if she leaves him for you, that relationship is going to change when y'all get together. Because, number one, she, you didn't really have to put up with all her baggage and all that stuff. All you did is basically had a good time. She went back home to him. He had to put up with all the baggage and all her bad habits. And and whatever she does and however she lives, he had to put up with that. You didn't have to put up with that. You're the side dude. Now, if she leaves him and get with you, now the relationship is going to shift. Now, you have to put up with all that baggage and some. So that's a different relationship. And the excitement, the rush that she got when she was sneaking around with you, that's going to be gone. And see, that's where a lot of people that sneak around, they kind of like doing that. They kind of get off on doing that. It's like a rush to them. It's like, it's like an excitement to them. It's like... There's a lot of women out there that's like this. A lot of guys, too. They love sneaking around and, and ducking and diving and, and dipping and diving in the cars at night and creeping. It's like, it, I know people that's been doing this for years. Yeah, There's some women out here, especially women. They got so much baggage in the closet, they, they're going to go to their graveyard with all this baggage. They're never going to tell anybody. All of the baggage that they got, you know, dipping and diving in cars and in the hotels at night and at stuff they do at work. You know, there's people that get off on this. They, a lot of women, they get wet in the panties doing stuff like this. So when you get with, so if you're having a good time with her while she's married, just keep it that way. As long as you can, as long as you don't get caught. Hopefully you won't get caught, you know. But if you get with that woman, that excitement, that rush, that's nine times out of ten, that's going to be gone. And she's going to be just nine times out of ten, she's going to be, she's going to treat you the same way she treated her ex as she just left to be with you. <laughs> I'm serious. I've seen this play out many times. My cousin did this. He got with a, a a woman that that he was cheating that was cheating with him while he was with this other girl, and that girl he left that girl to be with the side chick, and the side chick uh, became super jealous once they got together, and he was so surprised. I'm like, what do you expect? What do you expect? <laughs> so he ended up leaving the side chick too. <sighs> because she's, she attacked him. <laughs> so it's just crazy, man. So, so hey, these are just my thoughts. So you let me know. Would you ever settle with a woman that cheated with you? Leave your comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Share it. Check out my Patreon below. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.